In mathematical analysis, a measure on a set is a systematic way to assign a number to each suitable subset of that set, intuitively interpreted as its size. In this sense, a measure is a generalization of the concepts of length, area, and volume. A particularly important example is the Lebesgue measure on a Euclidean space, which assigns the conventional length, area, and volume of Euclidean geometry to suitable subsets of the n-dimensional Euclidean space Rn. For instance, the Lebesgue measure of the interval 0, 1 in the real numbers is its length in the everyday sense of the word, specifically, 1. Technically, a measure is a function that assigns a non-negative real number or plus infinity to certain subsets of a set X. See definition below. It must further be countably additive. The measure of a large subset that can be decomposed into a finite or countably infinite number of smaller disjoint subsets is equal to the sum of the measures of the smaller subsets. In general, if one wants to associate a consistent size to each subset of a given set while satisfying the other axioms of a measure, one only finds trivial examples like the counting measure. This problem was resolved by defining measure only on a sub-collection of all subsets, the so-called measurable subsets, which are required to form a sigma algebra. This means that countable unions, countable intersections and complements of measurable subsets are measurable. Non-measurable sets in a Euclidean space, on which the Lebesgue measure cannot be defined consistently, are necessarily complicated in the sense of being badly mixed up with their complement. Indeed, their existence is a non-trivial consequence of the axiom of choice. Measure theory was developed in successive stages during the late 19th and early 20th centuries by Émile Borel, Henri Lebesgue, Johann Radon, and Maurice Fréchet, among others. The main applications of measures are in the foundations of the Lebesgue integral, in Andrei Kolmogorov's axiomatization of probability theory and in ergodic theory. In integration theory, specifying a measure allows one to define integrals on spaces more general than subsets of Euclidean space. Moreover, the integral with respect to the Lebesgue measure on Euclidean spaces is more general and has a richer theory than its predecessor, the Riemann integral. Probability theory considers measures that are assigned to the whole set the size 1, and considers measurable subsets to be events whose probability is given by the measure. Ergodic theory considers measures that are invariant under, or arise naturally from, a dynamical system. <laughs> <laughs> Definition Let x be a set and sigma a sigma algebra over x a function mu from sigma to the extended real number line is called a measure if it satisfies the following properties Non-negativity, for all e in sigma, mu e 0 Null empty set mu equals 0 Display style mu varnothing equals 0 Countable additivity or sigma additivity for all countable collections E I I equals one infinity display style E underscore I underscore I equals one carrot inf T a pairwise disjoint sets in sigma mu K equals one Infinity E K equals K equals one infinity mu E K Display style mu left big cup underscore k equals one carrot inf t e underscore k right equals sum underscore k equals one carrot inf t mu e underscore k one may require that at least one set E has finite measure. Then the empty set automatically has measure zero because of countable additivity, because mu E equals mu E equals mu E plus mu plus mu plus 
Display style mu e equals mu e cup vanothing cup vanothing cup dots equals mu e plus mu vanothing plus mu vanothing plus dots which implies since the sum on the right thus converges to a finite value that mu equals 0 display style mu vanothing equals 0 if only the second and third conditions of the definition of measure above are met, and mu takes on at most one of the values plus or minus infinity, then mu is called a signed measure. The pair x sigma is called a measurable space. The members of sigma are called measurable sets. If x sigma x display style left x sigma underscore x right and Y sigma y display style left y sigma underscore y right are two measurable spaces. Then a function f x y display style f x to y is called measurable if for every y measurable set b element of sigma Y display style b in sigma underscore y. The inverse image is x measurable, i.e. f minus one b element of sigma x display style f caret minus one b in sigma underscore x. In this setup, the composition of measurable functions is measurable, making the measurable spaces and measurable functions a category, with the measurable spaces as objects and the set of measurable functions as arrows. See also measurable function hashtag term usage variations about another setup. A triple x, sigma, mu, is called a measure space. A probability measure is a measure with total measure 1, i.e. mu x equals 1. A probability space is a measure space with a probability measure. For measure spaces that are also topological spaces various compatibility conditions can be placed for the measure and the topology. Most measures met in practice in analysis and in many cases also in probability theory are radon measures. Radon measures have an alternative definition in terms of linear functionals on the locally convex space of continuous functions with compact support. This approach is taken by Bourbaki and a number of other sources. For more details, see the article on radon measures. Examples Some important measures are listed here. The counting measure is defined by mu equals number of elements in S. The Lebesgue measure on R is a complete translation invariant measure on a sigma algebra containing the intervals in R such that mu 0, 1 equals 1, and every other measure with these properties extends Lebesgue measure. Circular angle measure is invariant under rotation, and hyperbolic angle measure is invariant under squeeze mapping. The Ha measure for a locally compact topological group is a generalization of the Lebesgue measure and also of counting measure and circular angle measure and has similar uniqueness properties. The Hausdorff measure is a generalization of the Lebesgue measure to sets with non-integer dimension, in particular, fractal sets. Every probability space gives rise to a measure which takes the value 1 on the whole space and therefore takes all its values in the unit interval 0, 1. Such a measure is called a probability measure. See probability axioms. The Dirac measure delta a cf. Dirac delta function is given by delta a s equals chi s a, where chi s is the indicator function of s. The measure of a set is one if it contains the pointer and zero otherwise. Other named measures used in various theories include Borel measure, Jordan measure, ergodic measure, Euler measure, Gaussian measure, Baer measure, Radon measure, Young measure, and Loeb measure. 
In physics an example of a measure is spatial distribution of mass e.g., gravity potential, or another non-negative extensive property, conserved see conservation law for a list of these or not. Negative values lead to signed measures, see generalizations below. Liouville measure, known also as the natural volume form on a symplectic manifold, is useful in classical statistical and Hamiltonian mechanics. Gibbs measure is widely used in statistical mechanics, often under the name canonical ensemble. <laughs> <laughs> Basic properties Let mu be a measure Topic: Monotonicity. If E1 and E2 are measurable sets with E1, E2, then mu E1 mu E2 display style mu E underscore one leq mu E underscore two. Topic. Measure of countable unions and intersections. Topic <inaudible> Subadditivity. For any countable sequence e one, e two, e three of not necessarily disjoint measurable sets n in sigma mu i equals one. Infinity E I I equals one infinity mu E I display style mu left big cup underscore I equals one carrot inf T E underscore I right leq sum underscore I equals one carrot inf T mu E underscore I Topic: Continuity from below. If E1, E2, E3 are measurable sets and n is a subset of n plus one for all n, then the union of the sets n is measurable, and mu i equals one infinity e i equals lim I infinity mu e i display style mu left big cup underscore i equals one caret inf t e underscore i right equals lim underscore i to inf t mu e underscore i topic continuity from above. If E1, E2, E3 are measurable sets and for all n, n plus 1 n, then the intersection of the sets n is measurable. Furthermore, if at least one of the n has finite measure, then mu i equals 1 infinity E i equals lim i infinity mu e i display style mu left big cap underscore i equals 1 caret inf t e underscore i right equals lim underscore i to inf t mu e underscore i this property is false without the assumption that at least one of the n has finite measure for instance for each n element of n let n equals n infinity r which all have infinite lebesgue measure but the intersection is empty equals topic sigma finite measures equals a measure space x sigma mu is called finite if mu x is a finite real number rather than infinity Non-zero finite measures are analogous to probability measures in the sense that any finite measure mu is proportional to the probability measure 1 
mu x mu display style frac 1 mu x mu a measure mu is called sigma finite if x can be decomposed into a countable union of measurable sets of finite measure Analogously, a set in a measure space is said to have a sigma finite measure if it is a countable union of sets with finite measure. For example, the real numbers with the standard Lebesgue measure are sigma finite but not finite. Consider the closed intervals k, k plus 1 for all integers k, there are countably many such intervals, each has measure 1, and their union is the entire real line. Alternatively, consider the real numbers with the counting measure, which assigns to each finite set of reals the number of points in the set. This measure space is not sigma finite, because every set with finite measure contains only finitely many points, and it would take uncountably many such sets to cover the entire real line. The sigma finite measure spaces have some very convenient properties. Sigma finiteness can be compared in this respect to the Lindelof property of topological spaces. They can be also thought of as a vague generalization of the idea that a measure space may have uncountable measure. Topic: <laughs> S finite measures. A measure is said to be S finite if it is a countable sum of bounded measures. S finite measures are more general than sigma finite ones and have applications in the theory of stochastic processes. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Completeness. A measurable set X is called a null set if mu X equals 0. A subset of a null set is called a negligible set. A negligible set need not be measurable, but every measurable negligible set is automatically a null set. A measure is called complete if every negligible set is measurable. A measure can be extended to a complete one by considering the sigma algebra of subsets y which differ by a negligible set from a measurable set x, that is, such that the symmetric difference of x and y is contained in a null set. One defines mu y to equal mu x. Topic additivity measures are required to be countably additive. However, the condition can be strengthened as follows: for any set i display style i and any set of non-negative r i i element of i display style r underscore i i in i define i element of i r i equals sup i element of j r i j zero j i display style sum underscore i in i r underscore i equals sup left l brace sum underscore i in j r underscore i j that is we define the sum of the r i display style r underscore i to be the supremum of all the sums of finitely many of them a measure mu display style mu on sigma display style sigma is kappa display style kappa additive if for any lambda kappa display style lambda and any family of disjoint sets x alpha alpha lambda display style x underscore alpha alpha the following hold alpha element of lambda x alpha element of sigma display style big cup underscore alpha in lambda x underscore alpha in sigma mu alpha element of lambda x alpha equals alpha element of Lambda mu x alpha display style mu left big cup underscore alpha in lambda x underscore alpha right equals sum underscore alpha in lambda mu left x underscore alpha right. Note that the second condition is equivalent to the statement that the ideal of null sets is kappa display style kappa complete. Topic: Non-measurable sets. If the axiom of choice is assumed to be true, it can be proved that not all subsets of Euclidean space are Lebesgue measurable. Examples of such sets include the Vitali set, and the non measurable sets postulated by the Hausdorff paradox and the Banach Tarski paradox. <laughs> <laughs> Generalizations For certain purposes, it is useful to have a «measure» whose values are not restricted to the non-negative reals or infinity. 
For instance, a countably additive set function with values in the signed real numbers is called a signed measure, while such a function with values in the complex numbers is called a complex measure. Measures that take values in Banach spaces have been studied extensively. A measure that takes values in the set of self adjoint projections on a Hilbert space is called a projection valued measure. These are used in functional analysis for the spectral theorem. When it is necessary to distinguish the usual measures which take non negative values from generalizations, the term positive measure is used. Positive measures are closed under conical combination but not general linear combination, while signed measures are the linear closure of positive measures. Another generalization is the finitely additive measure, which are sometimes called contents. This is the same as a measure except that instead of requiring countable additivity we require only finite additivity. Historically, this definition was used first. It turns out that in general, finitely additive measures are connected with notions such as Banach limits, the dual of L infinity and the stone check compactification. All these are linked in one way or another to the axiom of choice. A charge is a generalization in both directions, it is a finitely additive, signed measure. <laughs> See also